You'll find all the recipes featured on tonight's show and many more in Deerberg's Everybody Cooks magazine. Just stop by any Deerberg's for your free copy while supplies last. Hi, welcome to Deerberg's Presents Everybody Cooks. I'm Barb Reidenauer. And I'm Kathy Chipley. We're so glad that you've tuned in to join us tonight. Our September magazine is just bursting with all the flavors of fall. We're very excited to share some of our favorites with you tonight. That's right. With cooler temperatures right around the corner, our first menu is a tribute to Oktoberfest. It is a beer lover's feast. Who better to help us with the menu than one of our friends at Schlafly? Joining me is Dan Kopman. He's the co-founder of Schlafly Beer right here in St. Louis. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for the invitation. Happy to be here. Now, we've got a fantastic menu that features beer in a couple of the recipes and also beer with the recipes. So do you have any general tips for choosing beers? Just remember that there's a tremendous variety of beer. You have light to dark. You have sweet to bitter. So there's a myriad of options for people to choose from. Check the menu out. See what you want to do and then learn about the beer styles and choose appropriately. Okay, well we've got some choices to make for our yes. first course, which is absolutely delicious. This is a Gouda cheese breadstick. Right. And we're serving that with a salad. It's a spinach salad with grilled portobello mushrooms, roasted red pepper, and some sweet tangy blue cheese. Right. Delicious. A couple of beer options. Okay. First, an English style pale ale. Slightly sweet, but still nice bitterness. Pouring it straight down in the glass to release the aroma. This is going to have some peppery lemon type characteristics that come from the English hops. Really nice style that's going to pair with this. Okay. Alternatively, or in addition, <laughs> I'd like to say, a Hefeweizen, uh, okay. an American style unfiltered wheat beer. Wheat, Weizen, yeast, Hefe. So that's the term Hefeweizen, wheat beer with yeast. And we're going to open this up. It's got some great citrus character mm -hmm. to the beer that comes from the wheat. And it just is a really nice style with a, a light sort of salad like you're, you know, you've got right here. Pairs really nicely. It's got that great citrus character to it. Okay. Perfect batch. Well, I think we're off to a good start. We'll set this aside and let's talk about main event. Now this is going to be richer in flavor. This is our grilled flank steak. For this you'll look for Deerberg's Angus beef flank steak. It's, a, it's in the gold foil package so you'll recognize it. It's excellent quality and we're going to give this a pretty rich seasoning. I've got a dry rub with some coriander, some dry mustard, dry ginger, paprika, pepper, salt, and then some brown sugar to help yeah, caramelize exactly. things. Exactly, perfect. So if I were going for wine, I know that I would go for a richer say red wine, right. but for beer, what are my options? Beer options, anything from a caramel colored, you know, English or American style pale ale, mm -hmm. up to a stout or a porter. And in this case, I'm gonna recommend a porter. Okay. Porter's a great fall style, and it just goes really well with red meat. So, and it's gonna have that roasted barley character to it. The barley comes off the field, goes into the malt house, and then it goes into a roaster. So similar to coffee, we roast the barley, and it just gives it that bit of, uh, that bit of roasted character that's just absolutely fantastic. Okay. We need something that's going to really stand up to these flavors, and I think the porter sounds great. Yeah, porter's going to be yummy. And I'm just rubbing this into the meat. At home, you'll do this and let the meat stand for about 20 to 30 minutes just to kind of marry the flavors and get the seasoning all the way in there. For the sake of tonight, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a grill pan about four to five minutes per side. Meat's ready to come off. Oh, look at that. It smells wonderful. Yeah. Now we're going to get the best results if we let this rest. You want to give it a good five minutes or so to really set those juices. Yep. While it rests, we can make sauce. Sauce. Okay. Excellent. Now for this, we already have some honey and some steak sauce. Right. But with our beer menu, we're going to embellish that with a little porter. porter. Okay. Exactly. Again, a little bit of that roasted character going into the sauce. So we're going to match this up here right about there or thereabouts as I like to say. <laughs> Pretty much equal parts. Pretty much equal parts, but there, thereabouts there, always there works. About there. Yeah. We're going to give this a quick stir. This will go into the microwave to heat. I'm just yeah. going to let it reduce and thicken slightly. It'll take just a few minutes. We're Fantastic. Good? It is. It's beautiful and has just the right amount of pink. Cutting it against the grain into thin yeah. strips like this is going to make it its very best. I'll go ahead and scoot this over and then we're ready for our sauce. Now, if we were serving this with mashed potatoes, I know that you are a, a sauce guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's I been like proven. The so you would serve more, but I think with this we can just get away with a small amount. Yeah, we'll just do this. We get this sauce. This is fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. We're just gonna go like that. You look like you've done this before. I'm not bad for a brewer. <laughs> and there we go. Beautiful. Is that all right? Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Success. And we've got plenty to serve alongside. Yeah. All right. Course one, 
course two. And now for course three. We haven't forgotten dessert. No. For this, we're going to serve a pumpkin bread pudding, right. fitting for the season. The secret, though, we agree, is the sauce. Oh, the caramel sauce. It is a caramel sauce, sauce that yeah. you are never going to forget. It's going to be life-changing. <laughs> for this one, we're going to use your oatmeal stout. Right. And oatmeal stout, I have to admit, when I think of stout, I think of Guinness. Right. Which is Dry quite stout. bitter. Yeah. Right. But this has a real mild, right. mellow, sweet quality to yeah. it. Yeah. English stouts with the addition of a little bit of oatmeal mm -hmm. adds a little bit of body and a little bit of sweetness. Makes it a perfect beer for this kind of sauce. And really kind of tempers the sweetness of the sauce. It just makes right. a perfect blend of flavors. Now, I've heated the beer just a bit. Give it a head start. I'm going to gradually add the sugar. Now, you notice I'm using a shiny pan that's very deliberate. Because we're using beer, it's going to be a little trickier to assess when I'm at just the right caramel stage. The shiny pan helps me do that. And I tend to use a three-quart pan for this. That little extra space means I have extra room because this will foam up as it cooks. Look at that. It's beautiful already. Now, I'm going to let this dissolve all of the yeah. sugar, let it come to a boil. There we go. Now this is the stage we've been looking for. We can see the deep color around the edges and you get Perfect. that aroma of caramel. The best way to test it is just to use a clean spoon. That's beautiful, yeah. beautiful. That rich amber color. If you need to test it several times, just be sure to use a new spoon each time. I'm gonna add a little bit of creaminess to the cup. This may bubble up too, so just be oh, a little gorgeous. careful about that. Look at that, fantastic. Now, we'll give this a quick stir. Yep. There we go. Now it kind of seizes when it hits the spoon right. and gets a little thicker. That's not a problem. That happens with caramel sauce. Yeah. Just keep it over the low heat and stir yeah. it, and it eventually it'll melt into a silky smooth sauce. Yeah, it's not going to be gritty. You can see it's running. It's got that feel to it. Beautiful. Mm, yummy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the heat for the last right. step. Turn this off, which is a little bit of vanilla. Not too much, just a half a teaspoon. It'll help round out the flavors. Yeah, we don't want to overwhelm the sauce with vanilla. That's right. It'll be too powerful. We don't want to, all the other components in the sauce are so perfect. You don't want to perfect. take away from that. No. Okay, and I'm going to let you do the honors. This is the key moment. So yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to take the sauce, and it's not just one ladle full. It's <sighs> two. Beautiful. This. I like that ratio of caramel sauce yes. to yeah. bread pudding. Yes. There we go. There we go. I'm add a little bit to mine. Now, for this, would you switch to coffee or would you also serve beer with this course? Oh, no. There's, there's dessert beers are fabulous. And, and in this case, we're going to serve it with pumpkin ale. We've used pumpkin ale in the pumpkin bread pudding. Okay. We've used the oatmeal stout in the sauce to get a little bit of bitterness. And now we're going to round things round out. things out we're going to pour it straight into a snifter so that we're going to get all that aroma the sweetness of the pumpkin ale along with the spices that we've added in the cinnamon the clove the nutmeg there is your serving yeah. i get this one this is going to be fantastic get your nose right in it really aroma get first. the aroma i've been paying attention yeah aroma first with beer oh, oh perfect wonderful. fantastic thanks for inviting me thank cheers thank you cheers to you Delicious. Fantastic. Now, time to dig into yes. the pumpkin with the caramel sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So and give one taste. Get a nice little taste in here. Get plenty of caramel sauce on my spoon. Mmm. We did good. Mm, yeah, we did really good. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a few minutes to enjoy our pumpkin mm -hmm. bread pudding and take a quick break. When we come back, Barb joins me, and we've got some easy weeknight dinners to serve you. So stay tuned. Thanks very much. Enjoy the fall. Thank you.